Hi, let us understand how to make update to a deployment. For understanding purpose, I have made a deployment using this specific YAML file. Let's check the status. kubectl get deployments. Here I do have nginx dash deployment which is maintaining three replicas. Let me describe the nginx deployment. This is having pod with the container image nginx that is the name of the container is nginx and having the image nginx with version 1.14.2. I can go ahead and update the version of it assume we do have a new version of engines and i wanted that to get updated i can update it using the kubectl set command or i can edit the yaml file let's see both the options i can use the edit command kubectl edit deployment slash and name of the deployment that is engines deployment this will open up the yaml file which was used to create the deployment and uh, I can go ahead and edit the version of nginx. Here I do have the version of nginx and I can go ahead and update. Editing this is going to be a little risky. So using the set option will be more appropriate to come out of it colon q exclamation will cancel like a normal editor. Now I can go ahead and set the image for the deployment using the command kubectl set image and then the deployment slash deployment name engine slash deployment and name of the container and the value that i wanted to set so the update will be done now i can verify the rollout status of the deployment using the command kubectl rollout status deployment slash engines dash deployment one out of three new replicas have been updated now as per the configuration it will not be bringing down all the pods it will be terminating one pod and then it will create another pod then it will terminate another pod then it will be creating a new pod with the newer version why that way it will be going so basically it will be going step by step it will not make all the pods unavailable at any point of time. So basically it will be ensuring at least 75% of the desired number of pods are available. Only 25% that is maximum 25% is unavailable. You can check the events of this specific deployment using describe command. So basically this will be controlled by the two replica sets. It created two replica set, one replica set it was scaling up and another replica set it was scaling down and the new replica set will be made available and the old replica set will be terminated let's get the pods i do have three pods up and running let's check the replica sets as well kubectl get replica set i do have the new replica set and the old replica set is terminated basically it was having a replica set with three pods and once we updated the engines it will be creating a new replica set and the new pod will get created one instance of old pod will be terminated another instance of new pod will get created that will be made as a part of new replica set another instance of old pod will get terminated one more instance of new pod will be created then another pod will get terminated when this process is happening both the replica set will be part of the deployment any request that is coming it might land up with the older version as well say for example this was the current state and the, the deployment is getting a request the request can land up either to this particular pod or to this particular pod or to this particular pod so 
So during this transition time, user might get the response from different version of engines.